So we got our annual pass holder magnet when we first got here and then they have one for horror nights so we got two this trip woohoo and our pin our pin says spells like hhn and our magnet is halloween horror nights themed it says halloween horror nights 2019 pass holder and it's the like game theme so we got two new magnets score 350 and people are already trying to get ready and they're staying screams. The staying scream barricaded. It's making this walkway extremely tight and hard to get through. Looks like no line for men in black. The worst thing though is having to lose the damn lockers. Pain in the butt. My favorite staying scream area, Finnegan's. That way you can get dinner and air conditioning and enjoy yourself before it all starts. All the other ones are outdoors. And you get to eat. Otherwise, then when are you eating? And we went in right when Sand Scream started. So, like, there was plenty of tables. But after that, if you wait, then it starts getting really crowded and you might not get in. It's 4.30. There's people just getting here to get in their Sand Scream areas. Because they got to be in before 5. Once it hits 5 o'clock, they sweep the entire park. And they do it really, really, really fast. Like there's a ton of people right now, but they they do it really fast. So I don't know how they do it, but I think the first person would say yep. And a little tip: if the they have like in the parks uh, the timeshare people, if they ever come up to you and they're like, "Where are you from?" and you don't want to talk to them, always say you're from Florida. Usually they don't bother us when they see the pass holder thing because they just assume we're from Florida. But they did ask us and we said Florida and they were like, all right, have a nice day. But if we would have said Jersey, they would have tried to sell us timeshare. So a little tip, it's something you're not interested in talking about. Don't laugh, but we're going back to Viva for dinner. We Italians can't go two weeks without eating pasta. So we had it at the start of the trip and we've been craving it, so we're back here again. And it's the only Italian restaurant around here so and we love it so Viva it's, it's, not not it's not mine go ahead okay really what did you get what did you get pizza oh yummy pizza or big pizza me and dad are starting with Caesar salads me and Kristen are splitting there you go you start with them. and once again we got the extra me and dad got uh, sausage ragu with spaghetti. Yeah. And Eugene got chicken fettuccine Alfred. Kristen got Casio with Pepe. Mom got the same thing as Kristen. And I got my Arabiata changed to angel hair. There's even extra hot flakes on there. Nom nom nom. Heading into islands now for a few rides before heading back to the room. Okay, Hagrid's motorbike is supposedly at capacity already today. It's not even 6 o'clock yet. Park's open till 9, so I have no idea how that's even possible. Because it's only been a written time of 90 minutes all day. So unless it's down and that's what they're saying. Or like people ran here. But even when we sat down for dinner, I checked and it was at capacity before the park, other park officially closed. So. I think that's kind of crazy because there's still three more hours of park time. But I got on three times already, so I'm good. All right, first stop, Seuss Landon. All right, Bradley, what do you want to do first? What's it called? The Hidden Tunnel. All right, all right. I think I'm gonna go too near. No, I'm gonna go this way. I can't, I, that's the crawling one. I can't get fit under there. Let's try this way. Wow, look at this. Yay. Whoa. Oh, here he comes! You did 
Time for Bradley's first ride choice. Cat in the hat. Womp womp. The Seuss trolley is closed. Oh no. It's closed. It's okay. That means we get to go on Spider-Man. There's a little section that you could sit and read. What were you reading? Which book? Show TT which yeah. book. Oh, a Grinch book. That's cool. But show TT that book. <laughs> oh. oh my goodness. Well, Do you know what which? What's called? What's, what's it? What letter is that? Um, I uh, wish I had the. There Ooh. You go. Here, but this is the Sneech Beach. There's a little radio talking to us right now, a sand castle, and they're all enjoying in the water. You see them? See the Sneeches out there? There they are. Went back to the front and over to Spider Man. <laughs> Heading in for horror nights. It's 7.07, so it's started. I'm heading up to get some Froyo. Stopped at Menchie's for my Froyo. And if you have the um, gift card that you use, and if you have the gift card I bought at Universal, I bought it at the uh, hotel, but it's Universal gift card. If you have that, you can use that anywhere on City Walk. Okay, I just use that the Froyo place. So, good for everywhere. And I used that red oven. And you still get your annual pass discounts at all those places. And just like that, another day has come to an end. A day spent at Universal. It was fun, relaxing, didn't go crazy. Kind of people watched for a bit. Had some lunch of my own at uh, red oven, which is always good. Especially us Italians that two weeks without Italian food is not fun. So that's why we had to go to Vivo again. <laughs> you gotta get the pasta in. You can't, it's impossible for Italians to go two weeks without pasta. You just, it's like needed to live. So we went to Vivo again. <laughs> and I feel like every vacation we go to Vivo twice. I think we should try like the, maybe the restaurants at like Portofino next time. But it's just so much easier just to stay where we are. Cause we wanted to go to the other park, do some stuff, and, and now we're back in the room. <sighs> Have to do some work today, so we came in. It's about 7:45. Have some work to get done, and then gonna relax, watch some Big Brother, of course, and see where tomorrow takes us. So with that, I say.